Hey folks, Michael Daniels here with Tinkering with Tech. Today we're going to talk about why use OBS to use the virtual camera in some of your favorite software, like StreamYard. Check this out. So let's look at the first reason why you might want to use OBS with your production. Screen switching. When people talk, the screen switches automatically to whoever is talking. We do this with OBS, Zoom, and StreamYard. Reason number two you may want to use OBS as your virtual camera is to bring on animations or something on screen that you want to be shown on full screen. I'm going to show you here you can see at the bottom of us two chatting or my two windows chatting you can see the animations that I have going now if I was to do this exact same thing over on StreamYard you will see it's only per window that you can do this Unless I make myself full screen, I'll click right here to go to a solo layout. And then you'll see that I can still have it in its full screen, but not with the two people layout. So it's convenience of having full screen versus just your screen. The third reason you may want to use OBS virtual camera is you can put images wherever you want. As you can see right here, we start with side by side, the same as what someone like StreamYard gives you or Restream, that kind of thing. But if you want to move and put people in a different spot, for example, here's me small, but my guest would be the big picture. I can do that. I can have scenes and you can see me switching the scenes over here on the right hand side. Going, there's me large and the guest small, and I'm going to go back to us side by side. So you have all kinds of freedom. I can move and resize these and shape these any way I want. You see me doing it on the fly, but I can make these any way, shape, form, put it anywhere on screen, etc. You don't have that luxury of doing that with some of this other software. Is it a little bit more challenging and more difficult? Sure, but I mean, I'm doing this on the fly. You can kind of see that. So that's just to show you that that's possibility. So if we have a look over here at StreamYard, you can see you have choices down here at the bottom, really two, possibly three different choices that you can have. You can see uh, large me on the left. I can move the guest over to the left that's large. Can only be on the left, can't be on the right. Um, limitations like that. I can bring myself back to large it's only set that way you can't vice versa that the large is always on the left you can do side by side this way but it cut it, you saw it cut out the image some and then you can always go back to the two people side by side that way and you can swap those as well put the guest on the left and you on the right okay fourth reason to use OBS as a virtual camera you can see my OBS setup right here you can bring in multiple cameras including a phone I'm going to show you right here. This is my cell phone and I'm showing you around my desktop setup, how I have five monitors, two webcams. I have a desk camera. I have a camera pointing down. I have a stream deck, a keyboard. Hey dude, show them the dog. Dude, what are you doing here? I will. Okay. Now, now go on. Uh, you can see me just moving around. I can show you the back of my studio. This is what's nice about having a mobile camera to get around and show the different parts of your studio or something like that. It's great for having that extra camera. And a cell phone is already 1080p. Some of them are 4K, but you're still only filming in whatever. But this is the how OBS, you do it, and I switch back to my camera in OBS. Reason number five, you can use a Stream Deck. Many people like to use some kind of tool to help them do things quicker by using like buttons, like a Stream Deck that we have right here on the left. 
So I have on the right uh, my OBS and the Stream Deck on the left to, to make some of these things happen. So if I click a button over here where it says Team 1, and then over here you'll see the scoreboard pop up. Then I can click it again and it'll go back. Another cool tool, something like this, where you can pop somebody out on screen and bounce them back. If you look over here to the left-hand side when I do that, you'll be able to see when I click on the button on the left-hand side, you'll see number two, and then you'll see this person pop out. So now we get to the StreamYard side. Here we can see that if I go to my camera and mic setting, I can see the camera that I'm using is the OBS virtual camera. I make sure that it's showing this full page. Let's say I want to pop out that person. I can bring that person doing all that stuff behind the scenes that you don't see there. Let's say I want to bring the scoreboard out and then bring it back. I can do all those same things and it looks seamless out here, but you don't see it going on. I can bring comments in if I click here. I can bring the comments right up on screen and that full production comes out perfect. So in that last clip, you got a chance to see what we do on the game show or what I do on the game show and my production. If you want to learn how to do this, be sure to join into the uh, Tinkering with Tech community, which is right over here. Uh, you can see it in, on my background. Um, Tinkeringwithtech.net. That's where you want to go and check us out if this was uh, useful to you. Also, check up top here. There'll be a link to some other uh, helpful things about OBS and StreamYard. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and you may see some other videos either way. You'll see some other videos that might help you.